Hey guys, it's Sam here from How to Q, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make modules in Python. I know I've been doing projects in this series so far, but I thought I would take a little break from that just for this episode, just to show you a bit more syntax in terms of modules, because a lot of people don't know much about modules and they're very useful. Okay, so let's get started. So a module in Python could be, for example, the maths function in Python. For, for example, if I wanted to do a factorial function, I have to import math and then do math factorial and we could do a factorial of 12 for example and it returns 12 factorial so the math module will be a uh, okay. the math module is a module created by the core developers in Python you can create your own modules in Python and import them in the same way um, so let's do that first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a module so your yeah, modules are normally contained in folders so we'll contain our module in a test folder so our module is going to be called test and in each module you have to have a uh, init function so I you can just do it this is basically just a plain empty Python file so yes and now we have our init function and we'll create and we'll just create and copy that and we'll make our first module uh, file if you like so we're going to call it join and we might as well create a function uh, or a file outside of it so I can show you how we're going to actually import this so we'll call this test uh, testing modules for example I'm just going to create this in Python so best way of doing this is going to be to create a class and the class will con normally contains functions in this case it's just going to be containing our yeah it will contain some functions but yeah so we'll call the class um, join and we're just going to do an init function and the init function in the class will allow us to oops self uh, will allow us to input variables so we can do str1 str2 and we can use this self variable to define them throughout the class if you're familiar with classes then you'll understand this pretty well so you can do uh, you can basically create any variable name under self and then set it to another value and then any function throughout the class I can now access those variables so I could call this one um, string for example and obviously it has to have the self parameter in it and I can now use these self dot strings in here so self dot string one we'll just make this function concatenate two strings together with an and in the in between and we'll put a hello at the start just so it, you know you could see how it may be useful obviously there's loads of ways you can use these and this is probably not the best way of using them but you know I've got to give an example self dot sdr2 and now we're just going to return that as a string so that is the basic module file or module part of the module uh, section of the module and if we access the testing module section here we should be able to import test and then go test uh, import test.join sorry and then just do test dot join dot join because our class is also called join like our file name and we'll just insert um, we'll just do Bob and we'll do Dave just for testing purposes and all we need to do is do the dot string function for it to fully work and you can see hello Bob and Dave so it's made the basic sentence using our module so that's a very basic example of how we can do this so why don't we make this slightly more complicated I'll just comment this out for a second here uh, since we probably want to actually use another function so last week we did a quiz right so we made a quiz that randomly generated uh, you know a series of questions maths questions so we're gonna do the same thing now um, except it's gonna be slightly different now the way it's gonna be different is we're gonna allow a you or allow us to insert a list of questions with definitive answers like most math questions are and then we'll 
be able to start a quiz. So we can just call this quiz and it's part of our test module and we can basically uh, make a class in it. So let's just get started with that. We'll call the class quiz and in the class we'll have a function, obviously init function, so we can insert variables in there and that will obviously take self and we'll take the list of questions and we'll do self.questions is equal to questions so it's defined under the questions section and then we're going to do start and this will start the quiz and we will just literally do score equals zero um, and if you remember last week we did uh, for i in self dot I mean for <laughs> for q in self dot questions dot keys and this basically iterates through the keys in the dictionary as I explained last week and then we get a user's input and we just set that set the uh, the thing they're going to see on this on their shell script as q which is the question and then we say if the string of self dot uh, questions dot get q so it'll get the answer here and we say if that is equal to the string of the answer the user's answer sorry then we tell them then we say that they got the answer correct so we'll just print correct for the sake of this and we'll add one to their score and as I showed last week that just increments the score by one quite nicely and we'll have an else function which says that they got it wrong so we'll just print uh, incorrect exclamation mark for example and then at the end of that we can just print out their score we can just say um, you got space string of their score and then write like that and that now is a very basic function and obviously we could have put anything in here but what we made this function do is we can import the function I mean import the module and we can use the functions within this class um, to just generate a definitive quiz so now let's test this and if you're finding any of this difficult be sure to drop a comment down below and I'll be, be sure to help um, I, I don't mind helping out in the comments below I'm sure other people wouldn't mind either and let's just import test.quiz and we're just going to do test.quiz.quiz since they both have the same file name and we'll just input uh, the questions here so we'll set the questions as those and we'll do dot start so that will start the quiz and now let's write some questions so questions obviously these ones have to be definitive so they have to have there has to be a question with an exact answer obviously we could make the quiz we could change it so it could have multiple choice but we haven't done that so we're just going to keep it as definitive for now and we could simply make a list of questions which are definitive like square numbers for example so 14 squared has a definitive answer to uh, oops 196 I think yeah and so does 15 squared and we'll just do this for the other ones so now we can input those questions and see how the quiz works so we click F5 to run oh, and you can see there's a little error here where this wasn't didn't have a colon in the middle very very um, important to uh, quickly check your code before running <laughs> And you can see what's 14 squared. Well, that's 196. And uh, what's 15 squared? 225. 256. And you know, and if we get it wrong, if we put like letters, it will say it's wrong. If we put numbers, and it'll say you got zero, zero right. So, and I've, I've done a, a few other examples. So I'll just copy and paste another example we could do. So, here we've got another example. Um, if we just make it a bit bigger. Um, we could use uh, the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, sum of the angles in square, 360 degrees. And you know, that's a very basic, basic definitive questions. So you can kind of see where this goes. 
So yeah, so this is a very basic tutorial about modules. Obviously, we can make it a lot more complicated. And if you do go and look in um, in the Python directory for the modules, you can go. I think it's yeah x86. Go into Python, and if you go into the lib folder, you'll see loads of crazy modules. Uh, the XML one's pretty good to look at. If you look at eTree, we'll see what the element tree looks like, and you know it's pretty crazy. So they re this, these are massive modules, and they have massive amounts of. Uh, you can see their init functions a bit more established than mine, and um, it's really good to look at this sort of code because it's very well written. So you can kind of see where it's going to, and this is an example of a much larger Python core module, much more well developed than our little module we've just made. But anyway guys, I hope you found this helpful and I hope you will use this tutorial to implement it into your code and your projects. Anyway, stick around for the future projects, be sure to be subscribed and press that notification bell so you can get a notification when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching, be sure to like this video and watch another video if you want to. Anyway guys, I'll see you around and goodbye.